this is what we are hoping for. Uh, even now, people are talking about when, when it's open, we're going to come. Uh, so it, it naturally draws uh, tourism, tourists to come into Qingzhou. Uh, Basically, when I want to build this new church, uh, that time when I met up with uh, my bishop, Archbishop, who was uh, who is now uh, retired, and I asked permission to build the church. He said, uh, "Stick to the tradition of the church." So I asked him what do you mean by tradition of the church. So he he referred me to uh, the first Gothic church that we have which is the whole cathedral. The Gothic, actually, the Gothic design uh, is very much uh, of certain period of church, church history, whereby the church uses a lot of stained glass to tell story about what Jesus' life is. That is why if you go to a Gothic church, you can see that there are a lot of uh, stained glasses, but the older stained glasses are telling story of Jesus' life, the story of the church, whatever it is. So uh, the church used that as a form of uh, passing on the faith. And therefore, uh, a Gothic church of today will give the present uh, generation appreciation of what the, the richness of the, what the church has. Uh, according to the contract, it should end on the on October 2024, but like any uh, contract, it probably has some delayed kind of thing. So we are not hoping to do to to do opening and probably beginning of 2025. Yeah. So we need a bit of time to settle all the other things. But nothing, no date has been set. Uh, other than the, the design and things like that, it's not a big issue because a lot of interior things are not done. Mm -hmm. As such, you can see from outside, it's all completed, mm -hmm. all less completed. But then the inside, the altar, the benches, the, the air condition is, uh, is done already, just a matter of testing it. Mm -hmm.